Welcome back. In the previous video, we finished conducting our React application to Redux. So what we are going to focus in this video is to install Bootstrap. As you can see, the final project, I use Bootstrap for the customization. So let's get started. So before that, let's head over to our front end folder SLC and then inside my app.js file here. Let's trash everything from here or let me delete everything from my header here like that and then just type in h1 here and say book app. Okay, so let's see the effect right now what we have. As you can see, this is what we have. So let's head over to bootstrap.com and grab the CDN. But before that, I want to make use of... Um, Boost, boost watch okay when you go to boostwatch.com they have a nice theme customized theme of bootstrap so we are going to make it of that because this video is not about um, css so the theme i'm gonna grab is core i want to make use of the theme you can make use of any this anything you want that is solar right so click on download here and then download bootstrap.main.css and when it open you can install any of this theme that you prefer right so as you can see think so when downloaded let me show you how it has opened here for me and let me create one tab here and show you what okay so let me put it here okay so when you open it, just open inside my um, f uh, mo uh, Firefox browser. So you can highlight all of these ones, select all, and copy. Right, and come to your React application. Inside your inside your index.css file, let's delete all these ones and then paste the CSS from Boostwatch. So as you can see, you have the class names you can use inside your application. So when you refresh it, as you can see some changes now, right? So this is what I'm going to make use of inside your application. As you can see the final one, the same thing as we see here and that. So you can make use of any boost word thing that you want and then you can customize your application as that. All right. So I want to make use of some additional bootstrap pop up for example when I click on this one I have this functionalities here so I can grab um, let me go to bootstrap the main, boost, the main bootstrap dot com okay bootstrap and then let me grab the CDN of bootstrap and then also place it inside not this one it's a uh, boot Bootstrap. Okay. This one. We can make use of um is it React Bootstrap, but I want to make it really easy. So let me grab the what is it called it? The CDN. So let me go to get started here. And then I can grab the CSS here as well. I even say I have the CSS. Let me grab the the, the, or the JavaScript file. This one. Is it this one separate JavaScript? This one. So let me grab this one and then come to my index.html here and then below my body tab, let me place my JavaScript here like that. And let me grab the CSS2. So let me copy the CSS2 as well. And above the link one, let me paste it here. So let's see the change here. As you can see, let's see what it changed right now. Okay, so that is how we install Bootstrap and Bootswatch inside our application. So in the next video, we will focus on creating the form and then make our first request.